Hey guys, it's Kat again, and um, I just did a tutorial on how to do the polymer clay with the gel grips and um, a little jewel on the side there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for my fatter hooks, it's it'd be really hard for me to make um, the polymer clay and then put the gel grips on because the polymer clay would make it super fat. So what I did is it's just I got the gel grip gel grips. Um, they got them at Walmart and they come in a pack of 20. And for each hook, I'm gonna use three gel grips, um, one, two, and then I'm gonna cut one in half. Um, if you guys know, putting one of these on the fatter ones was a process, and this this isn't too bad. So you're gonna need, um, of course, the gel grips. You're gonna need some scissors, and you're definitely gonna need some long needle nose pliers. So, um, let me show you how to do this here. Okay, so what you do is, um, okay, so I got these two, so this one's the odd man out. So what I do is I cut, um, I cut this bad boy in half, and I think you can see a line on the grip itself. So you just kind of follow that. You want to make it as even as possible. And then do the other side. Oh, sorry, that was super close up, wasn't it? Just want to make sure I'm right in the middle. Okay, there's the line. Okay, so you got your two edges, you got your, you got two edges and you got your two grips. Um, now what you're gonna do, it's gonna go, we're gonna go back into the restroom or to your sink or kitchen or wherever, and we're gonna have to use water to get these little suckers inside the center and you're definitely going to need this or something to grab it and pull it through. So let's grab our hooks and our gel grips and this feller and um, let's go into our sink area and get these bad boys on. Okay so we're back in the sink area and here is what we're going to do to put our gel grips on. We get our hook and we want to get that wet a little bit Actually, you don't have to do that first. You take your one of your grips, your whole grips, and one of your half of your grips, and you're going to want to insert it into the center, and um, it's not going to go very far. Well, I guess this one's not too bad, but it doesn't go all the way through. So what I do is I take my needle nose pliers, and I kind of try and grab it on the other side and pull it through. And this is where the water becomes handy and your enemy sometimes. This might take a, like, a few tries. You don't want to use, I mean I guess you can use soap and then try to wash it out but that's going to be in there for like ever. You don't want to use oil because then the oil is definitely going to stay there. I think that is pretty good. Okay, so it should look like that. Okay, so you do um, both of them that way. Where the next part is a little easier. Okay, so we get our hook, 
get that puppy wet a little bit. And then you do like so. You slip it on there and you want to make sure that you don't push your other grip through. So you do the same thing. You kind of keep it wet and you push it up. And I kind of put it towards right in front of the letter so I kind of know what number this is or what letter this is. Like right before the thing there. And then I do my second one. Bam. You just kind of make it to where it feels good for you on your hands. And there you have it. Easy gel grips. Work with it till it feels. There we go. That's better. And there you go. Nice matching with your hook. Cozy gel grips. Okay. So we got our three fat hooks with our gel grips. There you have it. This one was um, kind of easier, I guess you can say. Um, anyway, um, I gotta go cook dinner, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.